Hey everyone, my name is Chris, and in this video I'm going to talk about heavy guitar sounds and how to get them to sit properly in the mix so that the vocal, drums, and bass still cut through, yet you still have a really heavy guitar sound. I'm going to show you some basic guitar mix settings as well as how I use the Abbey Road TG12345 to add punch and width to the guitars. Here's what the guitar sounded like before any processing. Okay, here's after. I started out with some basic EQ settings commonly used for guitars in a mix. I start with a high pass filter to help make room in the mix for kick drums and bass guitar. I then use the low pass filter to filter out high frequencies that clash with cymbals and vocals. If needed, I will also notch out any frequencies that make the guitar sound a bit harsh or muddy. I then pan all four of the guitars where I want them to sit. I bust all the rhythm guitars to a stereo track and put the Abbey Road TG12345 on it. The TG12345 has three main sections, dynamics, EQ presence, and a master section. The compressor is a set ratio of two to one, and the settings I have here are pretty basic. The EQ section is really cool to shape the overall guitar tone of your track. I didn't do a lot here as I was pretty happy with the overall tone. I like this because I don't have to go back and adjust the individual EQ settings. I can just add color or take away a little bit of high end or low end here to help it fit better in the overall mix. Now in the master section, this is kind of the fun part of this plugin for me. I like the compressor, I like the EQ, they sound great, but the spread knob is what drew me to this and why I wanted to try it on this guitar track and it does exactly what it says, and that is to spread the stereo signal out further into the mix. I'm gonna start at zero, and I'm gonna slowly start spreading this signal out. Now, you do need to adjust the volume when you do this, so when I start at zero, the guitars are gonna be a little bit lower in volume, and then when it gets to six, they're gonna get a little bit louder in volume and kind of come out a little bit more, which if I was gonna go with six and go that wide, I would just have to adjust the volume either here or on my stereo bus here. All right, let's check it out. So as you can see in here, with just some basic EQ and panning on the individual guitar tracks, along with compression, EQ, and the spread function on the master guitar bus, you can achieve a really heavy guitar sound in your mix while the other instruments and vocals cut through clearly. Yeah. 